It drifts through the endless, silent dark. A tiny, man-made ghost, far from the warm light of its home star. This is Voyager 2. Launched in 1977, it was a marvel of human ingenuity, sent to explore the outer giants of our solar system and then keep going. For decades, it sent back postcards from the edge, revealing wonders we had only dreamed of. It carried the golden record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds, music, and greetings, our message in a bottle to the cosmos. Voyager 2 was more than a probe. It was an ambassador, representing our hope and curiosity. But all journeys must end. As years passed, its plutonium heart faded, its signals grew weaker, a whisper across an impossible distance. Scientists strained to listen, knowing each packet of data could be its last. On September 2, 2025, the last faint signal from Voyager 2 reached Earth. It was the end of an era, nearly half a century of exploration, redefining our understanding of the solar system. Its final message was not just data, it was the closing chapter of one of humanity's greatest adventures. A final whisper from the ghost in the cosmos. But what that whisper revealed would change everything. The universe had one last secret to share. The Voyager mission was born from a rare cosmic alignment. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune lined up for a once in 176 years grand tour. NASA seized the moment, launching Voyager 1 and 2 to explore these distant worlds. Voyager 2's unique path took it past Uranus and Neptune, giving us our first close up look at the ice giants. We discovered new moons, rings, and storms rewriting our textbooks. After its planetary tour, Voyager 2 entered the Voyager interstellar mission, aiming to cross the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends. It would become the first human-made object to measure the environment between the stars. Equipped with instruments to sense magnetic fields, cosmic rays, and plasma, it became our scout in the galactic unknown. Scientists hoped its final data would confirm a benign, stable void beyond our solar system. But the universe had a surprise in store, and it was not a welcome one. Voyager 2's power source was fading, and engineers shut down instruments one by one to conserve energy. Only the most vital sensors remained, the magnetometer, plasma wave subsystem, and cosmic ray detector. Communicating with Voyager was a technical marvel. Signals took over a day to travel each way, and were barely detectable. As 2025 approached, anticipation grew for its final transmission, a comprehensive summary from its last active sensors. Generations of scientists had dedicated their careers to this mission, hoping for a clear reading of the interstellar void. They waited, listening for one last voice from the darkness. But clarity was not what they received. The final data would upend everything we thought we knew. Voyager's last message was not a peaceful farewell. It was a warning. The final transmission arrived. Weak, but complete. At first, all seemed normal. Then, the data revealed chaos. The plasma wave instrument showed a region of unexpectedly high-density plasma, far denser than anything encountered before. It was as if Voyager 2 had entered an invisible interstellar cloud. The magnetometer recorded wild, inexplicable fluctuations, magnetic fields twisting and churning beyond our models. The cosmic ray detector showed a massive spike in high-energy particles, radiation levels far beyond expectations. The interstellar medium was not calm. It was turbulent and dangerously radioactive. Voyager 2 had stumbled into a previously unknown cosmic structure, a dense, stormy, highly radioactive region right outside our solar system. This wasn't a passing storm. The data suggested it was a large, stable feature of our local interstellar neighborhood. The calm inside our heliosphere was an illusion, a fragile pocket of safety in a hostile universe. Our solar system was traversing a dangerous part of the galaxy. The final message painted a terrifying picture. 
the space between stars is far more hostile than we ever imagined. The universe's silence suddenly made sense. Voyager's last whisper was a warning from the edge. We were not as safe as we thought. Uh, the great filter is the idea that some barrier prevents life from spreading across the stars. Voyager 2's final message provides chilling evidence. Interstellar space may be far more dangerous than we ever conceived. Intense radiation and unpredictable magnetic forces could make travel between stars lethal, even for machines, let alone life. This storm wall could act as a cosmic cage, trapping civilizations within their home systems. Life might be common, but forever isolated. Our dreams of interstellar travel may be impossible. Our heliosphere, once a boundary, is actually our sanctuary. The silence of the cosmos may be the silence of countless civilizations, all trapped at home. The great filter might not be a step in evolution, but a physical wall in space. Voyager's data forces us to reconsider our place in the universe. The stars are closer than ever, yet more unreachable than we dared imagine. For centuries, we saw the night sky as peaceful, a vast, open frontier. Voyager 2's final message shatters that illusion. The universe is not serene. It is violent and chaotic. The turbulent, radioactive zone it discovered is a stark reminder that we live in a dynamic and dangerous galaxy. The peace we experience on Earth is rare and fragile. Our solar system is not a starting point, but a shelter. The heliosphere is not a cage, but a shield, protecting us from a deadly galactic environment. Without it, life on Earth would be impossible. The number of truly habitable planets may be far smaller than we thought. Voyager's last data changes how we search for life and how we value our own world. In 1990, Voyager 1 captured the pale blue dot, a single pixel, our home, floating in a sunbeam. It was a humbling image, a reminder of our planet's fragility. Voyager 2's final message transforms that dot from a symbol of loneliness to a symbol of sanctuary. Earth is not just a dot. It is a lifeboat in a raging cosmic storm. The dream of escaping to another star system may be gone. There is no planet B. This is our only home. The mission to save Earth is now the most important mission of all. Climate change biodiversity loss, and resource depletion are existential threats. If we cannot sustain life here, we have no hope elsewhere. Voyager's last message is not despair, but a wake-up call. We must cherish and protect the miracle we already have. Our future is here, on this pale blue dot. Voyager 2 is now silent, drifting through the Milky Way, a relic of our curiosity. Its journey transformed our understanding of the solar system and the space beyond. But its greatest legacy is its final, sobering message. The universe is not ours to conquer. It is ancient, powerful, and indifferent. We are fragile inhabitants of a small, protected corner. This is a lesson in humility, delivered from the edge of interstellar space. Yet we must not stop exploring. Curiosity is our greatest strength. Voyager's story is a gift, a cosmic truth that gives us purpose to protect our home, cherish our existence, and look up at the stars with wisdom and wonder. The universe is dangerous, but our quest for knowledge endures.